Hello everybody, another beautiful day here in paradise on Wednesday, November the 8th. Hey, a simple question for you. Do you know people who work all the time at one or two or three jobs yet struggle financially, not being able to get ahead? Maybe it's you. Is it possible that they or you are drinking from a well that 95% of the time runs our life dry, takes our dreams and steals our time? I was reading yesterday about a pharma rep who after 20 years of living out of a suitcase, made lots of money, climbed her way up to regional vice president, and had a beautiful house, got to enjoy none of it. That house, not the house, not the money, no free time, now in her late 40s, overweight, single, no children, no real friendships outside of a few coworkers, and worst of all, miserable. Freedom is what she desires. A job, ladies and gentlemen, will want you to focus your efforts on making the owners wealthy in abundance and not you. A job can be a huge distraction if it's something you're not passionate about. Job, journey of the broken. This is normally the path others chose for you. It started in public school, teaching us just enough to be someone's employee. A good rule follower, not to question those society deems authority figures. Distractions come in many forms, sometimes as our partner. The one person who is supposed to cherish us and support us can be our biggest anchor. Beware of your environment and who you surround yourself with. Do the people closest to you empower, support, and lift you up? Or do they hold you down like a job can? Close your eyes, go ahead. Imagine life as a long trip you must take in a horse pulled wagon. You know, the kind with a wooden seat up front, wooden wheels, a covered bed in the back that holds all of your life's possessions. Along the way in your life, that wagon will have many ups and downs to travel. The road will be smooth at times and bumpy other times. Some of you will decide to be a pioneer and take the path, the path least taken by many. Along that trip, you will have passengers. Some passengers will be along only for parts of your journey, and a few may be along for the whole ride. Know right now that some of those passengers are only along for the ride. Who will get out and push when going up hills? or help repair a broken wheel, feed you when you need nourishment, or help with your trip's planning. Sometimes the passengers you welcome can be sitting in the back with their belongings dragging along the ground, slowing you down like anchors. Those passengers could be friends or even family, maybe your grown children. At what point do you cut those passengers or distractions loose. Hey, look, all jobs are not bad. If you have a job that you love, that provides all the wealth you need, bless you. You are one of 10 employees that actually enjoy what they do. If you are one of the other nine who have other ambitions in life, what are you doing daily to live your dreams? What's your plan and are you taking measurable action on it? Are your goals written down and shared with others who enjoy seeing you succeed and prosper? Who's on your side supporting you unconditionally? Beware of the distractions in life that keep you from your passions, your joys, and your fulfillment. Understand that others' opinions are theirs, and those may not have always may not always have the best interest. Opinions won't pay your bills, only your daily actions will. Where will you focus those actions today?